Hello, my wandering souls, and welcome to my first ever live stream, and as well as story time. Now, let's get to the bottom of this, shall we? First of all, before I do my, you know, story, I would love for you all to know, sometimes, sometimes there are things in this world we cannot explain. Sometimes people see things and witness things for our very own eyes. Sometimes, sometimes we wonder if we're even seeing the truth in this world. But in this very eyes, sometimes the thing that we want fear or wonder about think that could be in our closets or under our bed are really there and for a fact this story takes place with me and one of my best friends Alex or in the story we will call Axel now let us begin but first let me just say Happy Halloween, and I hope you enjoy this story. I have a story to tell you about a terrifying time. I weren't to forget about the time where I thought ghosts and spirits were made up, that there were no monsters underneath our beds. There were no boogeyman hiding in our closets or woods. There were no such things as entities that could or would hurt us. As a boy, I was wrong. The story takes back 15 years ago when I was living with my stepfamily. I even encountered a forest that I thought was very safe. Sometimes I would wander out and I would encounter things I probably shouldn't have. And one of those occasions was one of my deepest regrets. Hey, what's up, Carnage? How you doing? So. I was walking in the woods by myself. And very also often, I swear I would see something moving near the trees or in the bushes and definitely heard a bunch of cracking behind me like thick branches being snapped I realized something was falling I don't know what caused me to stop but there was a deer lying in the woods I saw it in the like just in the glimpse over there and I'm just like holy crap is that is it a deer sleeping over there could you imagine being seeing a deer sleeping? I couldn't. It's very rare to have catch in a, in a, it inside a beard bed, a deer bed. But in this case, I couldn't resist. How cool would that be if I thought, as I approached it? my heart sank. There was a deer there, but it wasn't alive, but was ripped apart. It. Now let me explain to you. In Minnesota, there aren't many big things out there that can really, you know, rip something apart. We've got maybe some black bears, maybe, you know, a wolf, coyotes, but this was no... Nothing that that the to my horror, the deer was basically a carcass with no eyes, no insides, but something let me go back in the past. I know what did this or believe to see. You see me and my best friend Axel were walking in the same woods. He was holding a video recorder on this on his camera, and his camera was very good. He could catch anything, however, he was into the slender man legend, so 
believed he would run into him. If we looked for him in the woods, so me and my buddy walked through the woods. My golden retriever, Diego at the time, came with us. He was just wandering around 50 acres with us, and the amount of land I live in, which I had mastered like in the back of my head, I would never get lost. We eventually went even further out of the border of the 50 acres. Eventually, I told my buddy, Come on, let's go home. I'm getting tired, and I'm getting hungry as well. He said, We're out here to find something. Remember, we're supernatural or monster hunting. I eventually got irritated and screaming in the woods like a madman. Whatever's out there, come for me. I dare you. Eat my soul. There's nothing you can do to scare me. You're all fake anyways. When I stopped, I saw my dog book it. The way we came back, as I looked as where I was going, I realized that we're in the part of the forest that I hadn't been in. My buddy all of a sudden said, I saw him! I walked over to him and said, Who? I said, He said, Slender Man. <laughs> I walked over to him and he showed me a recording of him, his camera. However, as we watched it, the picture of a certain part blurred out. Actual showed me what he saw, what he thought was Slender Man. His camera picture blurred out, and we were watching it then. Heard a loud snap of a branch in front of us. And we were looking at the camera. Went black. We both looked up and saw a dark, silhouette figure reaching out for us. We ran for our lives, ran as hard as we could. When the shadowy figure reached out towards us, we could have sworn that it was chasing us because we heard the sounds of footsteps not far in the distance and I knew in the fact that it wasn't my dog since he was right in front of us. We ran into the house when we reached it. We couldn't believe what we he'd just seen. It took us for moments for us to calm down, but I opened my mouth once. I looked at Axel. You saw what I saw, correct? I asked. He looked at me like I was seriously asking, like I was joking or something. Of course I saw it. We looked at the camera and there was just a fuzzy picture of the hand. We told each other that we would go, never go through the forest again. But I ended up going back in those parts of the woods a week later, which is where I found the deer carcass. Well, I went there and well, you guys know how that went. Now that we're caught up, let's talk about what happened on the 13th day after my birthday. Axel and I went into his house, watched some YouTube poop. I know what you're going to say. Really, dude? That's the lowest of the low on the YouTube community. But we were bored, and then we started to play WWE SmackDown vs. Raw. Now that is a good game. And if you haven't tried it, doesn't matter which one, I suggest it. Fast forward a bit, in a part where it started to get dark, we hopped off the Wii and started watching movies on Netflix. We watched a movie, can't remember what it was called, about a guy who got a controller and what he thought was an Xbox, but maybe a prototype of one. Of course, it bought him into the game and was testing his life, putting in the danger for all, for each of his hearts that were gone in the game, then he would die in real life. It was pretty good movie, kind of corny, but definitely got us was the next movie we watched, the movie called Insidious. And let me tell you, that movie scared the shit out of us. We were so terrified that we slept with the lights and and the memes playing in the background until Alex's stepdad, Larry, came down to the basement. He was angry. It's two in the morning. You can't be up here. It's late with everything on. Turn it off. We tried to tell him that we were scared, and all he could said was, well, maybe you shouldn't have watched those horror movies before bedtime. Turn it off. No, you know what? I'll do it. Then he turned off the lights and went to the bed. An hour went by, an hour of madness. All we could think about was insidious. We both eventually fell asleep, woke up probably an hour later, but had this feeling like I was being watched. I swear I could see something moving around the bed where Axel was sleeping. I called his name quietly. Psst. Axel. Psst. Axel. 
but I he but it didn't hear him. But I did hear something move near him. I thought he had been moving in his sleep, but that's when I saw the silhouette of something in the corner of the room, hovering on the well in the ceiling next to him. It took a while, but my eyes adjusted to the darkness, and I saw the thing clearly. It was basically a mist, but with the shape of a human and a claw-like hands. I screamed, causing Axel to wake up as I ran for the light switch. I saw a black like chalk just before the light leaf fully hit the room. It disappeared when the light hit the room. His parents came down and said that it was a dream or a nightmare, and the movie had affected it, but me and Axel knew better. We knew it wasn't a nightmare. As I described to him, we promised to keep an eye on each other and call if we saw sightings of the thing that stalks in the darkness. Well, that is my story for today. Now, I will say this. It was a quite a terrifying time. And a lot of people that knew me back then knew that I was afraid of things like that. Insidious probably made it worse. And yeah, watching horror before darkness isn't always the smartest thing to do. But, just know, there are things that aren't explainable in this realm. There's things in this world we are not meant to see. So, make sure to always look in the darkness and in the woods. If you hear something following you, let it be known. It could be the same creature, because you never know if it catches you in your sleep, you may be just become one of them.